are live. Oh. Cool. Um, I, I guess I should probably... Oops. Actually, you want to do the introduction? I always do the introduction. Yes. Uh, I'll do the introduction. Okay. Hello, Random with Gildum Time. This is the segment where Gildum talks about things unrelated to, I don't know, life and such. And he has a friend join him. But you see, this is his video, but I'm doing the intro because I'm that cool. Because... No, Gildum, I'm Chaz is rad. Uh, hi, I'm Gildum, guys. Uh, hi, Ch hi, Gildum, it's me, hi, Chaz. Uh, hi, hi, um... Uh, I'm Gildum, guys. Uh, watch my funny videos. <laughs> F U N N I. Not no. I spell it with an I instead of a Y. Oh, you you bring a good. You make a good point, Gildum. You what see, sometimes I get so drunk that I have to spell things wrong. But but Gildum, I I think you're pretty sober today. Would you like to elaborate on that? Uh, you see, um. I, I've decided that I'm no longer gonna drink any alcohol. <laughs> oh, killed him! What's with <laughs> going, this life change? I I've decided that I'm going to, to seek the ways of the monkhood. Oh, but killed him! That that's so extreme. And well, you just you know, made this. You just made this statement with yourself that if there was any Daedric prince to follow, it's definitely Sanguine. Uh, I've decided to change my mind and and call myself Shea Gorath. <laughs> the Daedric Prince of Madness? Yeah, you see, I've swapped places with Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> so, me, Chaz, I'm gonna get drunk right now. It's time to indulge in the booze and follow What you got, there. Chaz? I, what you got today? Uh, a monster... That's it. Yeah. Um. So so killed him. It turns out that apparently, uh, I I can't drink on a work day. Oh. Things happen, yeah. you know. Uh, cause cause like I I, I was plague night in your LP. A plague oh, yeah. night. Uh, if you can't throw up a card right now. Uh, thanks, brah. You you know exactly, man. Uh, Gildum, I have to say, how how did I, I, I become a little more sounding like you? Um, well, in the Daedric madness, um, things happen, you know. Yeah, I, I guess I guess you know Shigarath, Shigorath, uh, and, and then Sanguine. They they were like conversing one day, but it was pretty good because I feel like. Um, the, you know, they're, they're going to be palling around. There's no way that it's going to be like a fierce competition between those two. And, and then they said, you know, it'd be a funny joke if we had our disciples just swap their accents and their linguistics and their mindset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right, now, right now, uh, I, I can't believe it. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm in, I, I, why, where is this apartment? I'm Gildum. I don't live in an apartment. I'm 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 Chess, and I don't live in a room. That's a big bathroom. <laughs> Who are That's these women big... on on Gildum's phone texting him? Uh, who are? Whoa! I have a long term girlfriend now. What? <laughs> what is going? Oh, uh, Gildum. Uh, please, please don't mess with my long-term girlfriend. I love her very much. Uh, uh, don't worry, Chaz. I'll, um... We're we're gonna have to do that one thing from the movie, you know, <laughs> try to convince her that um, you you are me and I am you. This is Freaky Friday, except oh my god, it actually is Friday. Yeah, I was gonna say it, uh, but it's actually Thursday. But there, no, there's it a movie is that's pretty much Freaky Friday, except this with two best friends, and uh, the same situation happens. Except uh, it, it was pretty local, and, and this is long distance, you know. So uh, I don't know how this is gonna work. This is um, Bruce. No, 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 that's a different movie. Yeah. Uh, what the heck is that movie? Trading Spaces. You I, know, think, I think it is Trading Spaces. No, not it's Trading Ed Spaces. Murphy. It's close with, to that, though. We're going to we're gonna single-handedly change the stock of pork it, it belly. Had, it had Ryan Reynolds in it. Did it? Yeah, I don't know if anyone... Well, not, not Trading Spaces. Oh, the one that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the one I'm talking okay. about it had, trading, it had Ryan Reynolds in it. 
Okay. He, he was a yeah, single was bachelor. Like, wow, Ryan Reynolds was in training no, space. No, 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 no. Like the one that I'm talking about had Ryan Reynolds. He was like the bachelor, and then his friend was like this married man with like uh, I think I think like two or three kids and a wife. You know what? I kind of remember this movie. Yeah, and I didn't see it, but I kind of remember seeing it. And, like, and, and I think the whole situation with them trading places is they wish to uh, they wish to live the other person's life, and they. They did that by pissing in a fountain. Oh uh, well, we didn't we didn't do that. No, well, I don't think I don't <laughs> think that's possible. But again, you know the Daedric princes they got together, and that's how that happened. Uh, no telling when uh, they're gonna swap us back, or even if they're gonna do that. Ooh, so uh... so I guess I guess me Chaz. I uh, will have to figure out how to how to ship my girlfriend over here. You know, I'll have to figure out the plane ticket and everything. Uh, unfortunately, Gildum, since you're you're living I gotta in this go to work tomorrow. Yeah. Um... Unfortunately, Gildum, uh, it turns out that you're gonna have to like work my two jobs oh, and, and and do that thing. But don't worry, don't worry. Uh, wait a second. Me, Chaz, I get to do your job, and oh, you... uh, I get benefits and stuff like that. <laughs> Weren't you telling me they just had this incentive? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, you were just, I was just going to go on vacation. Oh, but now they're putting an attendance incentive, and I can make a lot of money. I could make $700 an hour. If I go to work all week, <laughs> I don't uh, uh, really. I mean, I get. I guess I'll have to find out what that's all about. Except, oh, you not, see, I'm on see, you see, in this business, right, the strong survive, and the weak, they get run over. Oh no! Wait a second. What's this? You have a date tomorrow? Uh, I right. do. <clears throat> I have a date tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, I yeah, yeah, right. I I have a date, uh, but it's not just the first date I've been on this week. <laughs> it's man, the second man, killed him. If if you sounded like me, I think this would be less awkward. But because you sound like me, Chaz is rad. <laughs> uh, it probably is a whole different mess to speak about all this stuff. Because, you know, I'm in a long-term relationship. You're not. Nope, I'm playing the field, man. <laughs> I'm like Ichiro. <laughs> oh, yeah, Except baby. Except Ichiro is a center. F oh, was he third base? I can't remember. Doesn't I'm matter. from Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Space he's not even on baby. the Mariners anymore. He's no, on the he's Mars. not. Yeah, <laughs> he went to a different place. He went to a totally different state. He to say, prepared to eat Clark. lead, baby. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. I uh, just, yeah, just remembered that video. Do, do, you think, <laughs> do you think we should drop the charade? Uh, yeah, it's, it, this joke got played way too long. You know, it's been like nine minutes into the video. Oh, we didn't get to a whole ten minutes? No, but I, I'm fine with it. I feel like, uh, cause we're already doing the hanging with Geldum segment. I sh we should probably talk about other sort of things. But I feel like we need to do this. You know, we need a long drawn out joke. Cause uh, believe it or not, we attempted this once and it got super awkward from my behalf, that, and I felt really too... bad. I was like, Chaz, I'm sorry. It was a little too much, but you know, nothing will ever compare to Bubble Man. It's okay. Um, liquor, liquor is quicker. Liquor is quicker. Uh, speak, speaking of liquor, uh, so I got a date tomorrow. Yes. Which is unusual for many reasons. I, I won't get into details, but uh, alcohol may or may not be involved. Woohoo! And, and you don't need to it tell me. Alcohol are pro it doesn't, and, doesn't cause problems. Yeah, and solution. you don't need to tell me 
and how many ways that can cause problems because believe me uh i the reason i have a date is because alcohol was involved in the first place it's courage uh liquid courage it gets it, apparently it gets me dates uh not not so much for you i mean it might but uh let, let me just say this i think this is some good advice Alcohol can be a good icebreaker. It can loosen you in the most tense, like, of situations. But it can also cause a lot of problems. Yes. And it can also make this sense of dependency, which you should never really have. I mean, let's be honest. Sure, you can think of alcohol as a tool, but uh, there, there's a dark side to everything. And alcohol, <laughs> y'all... You'll be in a very bad situation. And also, I think I talked about in the last part, like my last rambling video, uh, there, there is a lot of regret associated with drinking. Mm -hmm. Nam namely, you can cut, put yourself into a, pre a pretty bad situation. Uh, Chaz, I, I'm sorry, but I think I need to take a break real quick. Uh, okay. I'm just going to pause the recording. We'll resume like nothing happened. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Uh, and so then, Chaz, uh, things happen, stuff, stuff. And that's why you don't catch me doing dogs anymore. Uh, do, do you want to clarify doing dogs? I don't know. That's that's what uh, that's what video game Dongo has in all his videos with the stormtroopers. You know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> when catch people, when you catch people at the end of conversations. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just thinking it's like jazz. Um, if you didn't explain that, I think it was gonna raise a lot of eyebrows. Little eyebrows. It, like not in a good way, you know. I just, I just need to make sure. Yeah. Okay, I get it. You're, you're just referencing. Uh, that, that's fine. Uh, I, I have something to add. Because okay. I was, I was such a curious little boy. Uh, it, it tends to be a, something that gets me into trouble, but in this case, I was just curious in the sense that, are people still doing, like, internet memes, and not, like, current ones? I mean, like, severely outdated, like, from years ago. Um, and yes, people are still uploading that, even, even, like, as of, like, to di as of like today. Like, Sonic says bad things, that no, kind of stuff? No, I'm talking about, like, okay, remember the Harlem Shake? Something that was yeah. made relevant in 2013? Oh my god. People are still it, doing it. Oh my god. What are they all old people? No. Oh man. Uh, how, I, how... I, like really young, like 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 uh, uh little kids. Yeah, they little thought, kids. They they okay, I get it. It's Which, like Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, someone was trying to use Roblox to do like some sort of Harlem shake. You know, I've never played Roblox. Me ever. neither. All I know is the death sound. The oof. Ooh, except it's a lot more higher pitch. I miss the old Minecraft hurt sound. That was kind of funny. Oh yeah, I remember that. The, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> they got rid of that. Because I was, yeah, oh. it, now it's just like a tick. Oh, oh like, yeah, tick. it is. Okay, all right. I, I I was playing. I played Minecraft like, like right out of alpha. Like it was like the first beta. I, I think I, I remember I that. You had a couple videos, like, where you, weren't you, like, on your brother's server or something? And yeah. uh, there was some impressive stuff going on there. Yeah. Uh, I, I never had the patience to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, that was uh, those were the good days, man, before it was all uh, in Toys R Us and Target. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it got crazy popular. It exploded. Now it's like, oh, you play... Minecraft? Oh. Something oh, is okay. going on over at the school next door. I didn't know you lived near a school. Yeah, well, I live right next to a school. Literally, there is a oh. wood fence separating my house from a school. So you could hear the rotten children, like, partying in the playground? I, I can hear them right now. <laughs> it's why I'm saying something is going on over at the school. Uh, but honestly, it's not so bad where my room is. The room adjacent to my room... Uh, that, that's where, like, you'll hear a lot of the kids, like, uh, hooting and hollering, because it's a lot closer to the Reese's Field, where, <laughs> where all the play ground equipment is. Do they all go, like, do they play, like, Duck Duck Goose and stuff? Uh, honestly, it just sounds like a lot of hooting and hollering and a bunch of gibberish. Occasionally you make out one word, but, I mean, when, when you have a bunch of kids... 
No, I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. It, it, it's unintelligible. It's the unintelligible. Kids, the kids in the uh, the complex here, they all play on the stoop right yeah. in front of It, it just sounds like white noise. Yeah, it's it's loud and and probably annoying. A, a little bit. Uh, I'm I'm thinking there's some sort of celeb- celebratory uh, school party thing. Uh, they do that every now and then. Occasionally, it's, yeah, oh, yeah, hear music because they get what a the DJ. Heck? I was gonna say, what the heck? It's nine thirty, but then I realized, oh yeah, time difference. Yeah, I, well, there's a three hour time <laughs> zone difference. <laughs> it, it's only six thirty four. All right, that's 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 more and uh, still kind of late for school stuff. Yeah, but and I'm I'm getting messaged by my date for tomorrow, I'm trying to Ooh. try to get the plans going. Um, tell her, tell her, yeah. Uh, it's spelled Y E A. I I was just gonna say Y A S. Uh. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, nah, it's all good. I remember we were talking about alcohol before I had to stop. Yeah, it. Um, we were talking about how much alcohol I'm gonna drink tomorrow. <laughs> I thought we'd stop that charade. <laughs> Are you starting to become an alcoholic? Well, I, I'm already an alcoholic. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't. I uh, I drink 17 um, tequila sunrises a day. <laughs> what? So you're you're, you're never sober is what I'm I hearing. I spaced them out. Oh, I okay. spaced them out. I mean, like I'm not going like, oh, one's done. Give bring on the second. No, it's like I drink it, one I every. I have to hour, say, so. I'm impressed. You're not slurring one bit. You you seem pretty coherent. That's how you know I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, I'm so okay. good at hiding it. <laughs> well, that and uh, you're not suffering any of the withdrawal effects. So I mean, uh, clearly you're either like sober all the time or you're intoxicated to the point where you're just a functioning alcoholic. Um. Well, you see. Uh, my liver is actually a um, a kind of like a computer program since it's. Is, is, is it? Do you have a bionic liver? Yeah. So literally, it just it filters and distills, and like you just recycle the alcohol. Does does <sighs> See, it have that? that? See, I didn't want to. I didn't want to spoil the surprise, but yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you know the beer Natty Light. Yeah. No. That's the. That's the. Uh, that's that's the. Um, the product of the recycled liquor. <laughs> I was gonna say. So, is, is there like a special when process? When people say, "When people say, man, this tastes like pee," well, <laughs> piss water. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? Um, okay. So I was gonna say. So, is there like a special alcoholic product from your own liver that does this, and that's why they had to do it? It was all an experiment, because you know there it's there is a, all extremely experimental. There there's a there's coffee that passes through the digestion system of animals. I won't yes. get into too much details, but it's pretty expensive. I like to call it the poop coffee. I would have a cup if they ever offered it. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely looking for that coffee. Uh, I don't when... remember the name of it, but yeah, basically, uh, th- this bean, in order to make it like, you know... Uh, uh, I You told me about this. Yeah, I did. Article it, it's like, in order to make it like brewable or, I don't know, the process is basically has to pass through the digestion of, of this animal. And, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's supposedly pretty expensive, but it has a very unique flavor. And so, uh, me, me being the curious and weird person I am, I was like, I would try the poop coffee. It's not. Yeah. It's not like I'm gonna get some sort of weird infection because you know, based on the amount of time and everything, they they obviously have perfected the purification process, so it's all perfectly legit, and yeah. it's supposed to be pretty decent. So I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd try it. <laughs> yeah, sure. The method of obtaining it is absurd and and weird and probably gross all the same, but you know, I'm 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 down. It's life is an experience. Let's experience. That I would almost. It wouldn't be the weirdest thing I've I've eaten, consumed. I, I won't I won't ask. <clears throat> I I won't push you any further. Okay, I mean I'm I'm just saying for the viewers. You, you, after this, I mean you go for it. I I will ask. I will I will 
I'm going to tell you. No, no hold barred. I will just dig right in because that's yep. a juicy piece of information. But again, uh -huh. for the viewers, I feel like I shouldn't. It might be just a little TMI. They're going to get they're going to get um, stomach aches when they hear <laughs> what I had. Uh, Not too long ago, too, by the way. That, that's fair. Uh, I, I should probably I should probably bring up a small topic, which I said I was going to try to summarize because uh, last time we attempted this, kind of derailed everything and turned it super awkward. And also, Chaz, I want you to know if you have a safety word in mind, uh, feel free to like just bail me out when things the get too awkward. Safety word is banana. Banana. Okay. So if any form of banana is said, if you, um, if you know if you know what the reference I'm referencing. Then I, I it, have only one wants. idea, but you know, I guess it's irrelevant. Um, so last week I did say something, and I, I wanted to. I guess this is going to be a little serious. I have to. I have to shift the tone just temporarily. Yeah, no more jovial. Uh, okay. So last week I was talking about my ex. Things got awkward. Needless to say, I didn't really go too far into all the details, and I feel like I really shouldn't. Uh, after having conversed with Chaz, I, I feel like I just can't do it. Not without making things way too just over the top, like out, out of, out of like I don't know. I, I want to say I can't make it out of like the cringeworthy territory of awkwardness. It, it's just bad, mm -hmm. so I won't. But I will say this. I do want to apologize if I may have said something a little uncouth because I feel like I could have explained it a bit better. You see, yeah. I, I don't want to. I don't want to associate the term bullshit and you know being bipolar like mm -hmm. together because they're not. You know, bipolar is a serious thing, and what I had to deal with my ex. There was a lot of bullshit involved, and I'm not blaming her for all of that, you know. To my own extent, there was stuff from my end that was complete bullshit and I should never have done. I've told Chaz a bit of that story. He knows a little bit of what happened, and I'm pretty sure he could agree. Uh, Gilm should never have been in that situation. I would love yeah. to I would love to go further, but really, I probably not a good idea. We tried this once. It didn't work out very well. Not in my, yeah. not in my benefit, only serve to make things just very awkward and i don't know it was, it was a bad conversation and i pulled that for chaz I, I really didn't want to put him on the spot like that i just kind of wanted him to i was be... trying to you know make you sound not so bad and either. it's like you can't i, I just want to be real yes yeah i want to be real you know i didn't really want to be painted in any sort of light other than you know the truth i guess but either way i don't really want to talk about it i don't want to dwell i just kind of wanted to clarify you know it, that whole complex the whole bipolar thing it's way over my head i'm not the right person to talk about that with you know there are people that can help you know people that are trained i'm not suggesting yeah, I'm not suggesting people seek help because I feel like I don't have the right to suggest that, you know. It's, it's the person's own choice to go seek that kind of assistance. But at the same time, it, it's way too over my head. I don't understand it. I don't quite understand what's associated with it. I'm not the right person to really, like, determine, figure out and know what's going on and that's really all i want to say a very serious thing i feel really bad about the whole incident and you know what my first relationship you know there there was things involved with that but I, i'm i'm moving on you know that that's really all i wanted to say you know i i did not want to associate bullshit and like bipolar as the same thing you know they're not they don't connect you know these two puzzle pieces they're not entwined Life is a jigsaw. Did you put it together correctly yet? No. I I, I swear to God, How I'm missing a couple pieces there? from the box. Oh, man, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Did I, you I, ever get two, two of the same pieces? Uh, I, you know, I feel like with my, my, my situation, especially with the way alcohol is involved, I, I feel like I didn't get two pieces 
But I did get a piece that's supposed to go somewhere, but it's completely mismatched, like it was colored wrong. Oh, okay. And that's the, and that's what we call irony. Yes. Everything should connect the way it does, but it doesn't fit the way you would think it would. You see, sometimes you have to go in the fourth dimension. <laughs> the fourth dimension? Did you know the fourth dimension is time? No, but that sounds right. Well, that's that's what it is in um Slaughterhouse 5 anyway. Slaughterhouse 5? Yeah. Slaughter Why does this sound familiar? book oh never read it i did but i did read a book once i read called, a book once too it was called welcome to the monkey house it's a it's a book full of short stories that's pretty cool actually yeah and so basically instead of reading a book you're really reading like i don't know uh, how many chapters Several that thing stories. is yeah it's it's like how many chapters there are in that book that each chapter i love story. those i love those kind of books that are like that with short stories and each chapter like coincides like there's characters that are mm -hmm. part of the story mm -hmm. that are also in different chapters i like that kind of stuff oh it's a it's a great it's great like series of stories i remember a couple of them but i think my favorite was the one where it was talking about how in the future they were trying to figure out like the overpopulation problem the world was facing oh. so in order to like rectify everything they created this ethical birth control which all it did was just numb your uh your privates Ooh. So you couldn't feel anything, and it also took the pleasure out of sex. It, it still allowed you, like, it had no adverse effects, like, everything still worked perfectly as it should. <laughs> uh, except, you know, you wouldn't have any arousal of the like, because you basically wouldn't have anything. Uh, it took the pleasure out of sex, so I mean, I guess, theoretically, you could still have it, but you're, you just wouldn't get anything out of it. It would just be like grinding. Yeah, and I mean, really, that that's kind of. I think that's what they said. You know, women. It it just felt really weird, like not pleasurable or anything. Just just you know, you know when your foot falls asleep. Yes. I'm thinking it's something along those lines, except you know, pr probably not as uh, tingly. Actually, I think they. You know, irrelevant. Point is, uh, with guys. Well. Oh, the best part was when they were talking about guys. Apparently, uh, I, I remember this exactly. You could recite the Gettysburg Address and have someone kick you in the balls repeatedly over and over, and you wouldn't miss a syllable. It was that effective. Oh, I need this. Yeah, and basically, yeah, that, that was the whole point of like this ethical birth control. It just was one of those things where no one was going to have sex. There wasn't going to be any sort of, like... Uh, unfortunate prank like unplanned pregnancies like people were just gonna be like okay and also the other duality of this is uh they made it so people could live an absurd an absurd long amount of time so basically people could be like hundreds and hundreds of years old and they still would look young so essentially they found eternal youth eternal youth yeah but the whole point of the story is not the fact that you know this is society it's the fact that uh the moral was they had a group of rebels who were like were against society and like this whole ethical birth control and the moral was people should have the right to choose whether or not like they they want to take it or not it's that's that's always a uh, moral dilemma is are you taking people's freedom away by yeah doing that? Yeah, actually, I'm I'm pretty sure that is the real morals taking people's freedoms and like uh, forcing something mandatory like that. And I mean, it, it's good. But the problem with it is, you know, looking at society now, it's it's kind of like we we really should have something like this because uh, every every I want to say the Gettysburg Address without you know without like whenever I start saying it, somebody kicks me in the uh, in the jollies. In, uh, in the jo they kick me in the jollies, and I mean that's why. Why I'm not allowed to say the Gettysburg Address. Oh no! It, I, I mean, even if I'm in my own private home, someone will break through my front door and do it. Mm -hmm. If I just start saying, you know, I, you know, I'm not going to say it, but you know, the first, the first very famous line of the Gettysburg Address, like four yeah. score and seven years ago. 
See, so you said it, not me. <laughs> so, 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 you, so you just saved the, the, oh, the people. Oh, I ran a person in a pink outfit. What are you doing? Oh, my balls. <laughs> See, 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 see what I mean? See what you, you, you now you're guilty by association. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Oh no, does this mean I can never recite the Gettysburg Address? Yep. Oh man, what is Sanguine gonna do to help me out of this one? Nothing, because I mean, he doesn't if, care. He do, well, as long as he's entertained. If he's entertained, he cares enough probably, to... Probably, it's hilarious every time yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah. In fact, he's probably just going to say, Bro, man, here, ha have a drink on me, and do it again. And knowing that guy, you'll probably think it's a good idea, because, you, you know, you'll you'll be under his influence. Like, All right. All right, All right bro, so do it again. Say. Until he gets right. tired of it, I mean, uh, you're you're just gonna keep doing it because you think it's a good idea. All right, I'm bored now. Say a different thing. <laughs> recite, <laughs> recite, um, some Shakespeare for me. I don't know. I, I'm I'm just thinking like when you hang out with Sanguine, it's gonna be like uh, that one scene from Billy Madison. If you've ever uh, seen that movie, the one where they're they they always. All of them kind of mixed together for me. Like that, I get a, Water Boy, Billy Madison, and Happy Gilmore all kind of like mixed up. That, that's fair. Uh, basically, any of the scenes in those movies where uh, the main character, played by Adam Sandler, is drunk and hanging out with friends, and they're doing some sort of random hijinks and okay. shenanigans. Uh, I mean, sure. That Billy Madison. That, yeah, that's that's from Billy Madison. Okay, see, I remember something. Yeah. But Bob Barker is Happy Gilmore. Yeah, Bob Barker is Happy Gilmore. Okay, okay. And Colonel Sanders is Waterboy. Uh, I don't remember Waterboy too much. I remember You're a little bit. Colonel Sanders? I mean, probably. <laughs> it's it's fine. I guess it's not too important, you know. Point is, no, uh, that, that was the thing. Anyways, uh, I think we pretty much hit all the good points of this conversation. I do have I something to what end I off. At. I didn't tell you what I was looking at, but oh. guess what? I'm not gonna say it because <clears throat> it's up to it's up to the uh, the people. I, I want to know. What's I gonna buy? Uh, uh, what? I, well, you'll know. I'll tell you after the video. Oh yeah, but uh, I mean, do do we really want to leave on this cliffhanger? No, you leave on your cliffhanger. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have a cliffhanger, but I do have something to tell all the viewers. Okay. And, what, what and this footage does not do the game justice. I don't uh, even know what footage it is. Okay. So, I do the Kickstarter sometimes. Oh, I, I got the email today for that. Yeah. Okay, now you it's know. Out. It's out. Yeah, it's out. Uh, there is a game, as you're seeing right now, Caveman Warriors. Fantastic game. Go get your friends, because playing it single player is not doing justice, clearly by the footage that you're seeing right now. So grab your friends, have a fun time. Chaz, you want to play with me sometime? Yes, <laughs> I do, actually. I got it on Steam. I got it on multiple platforms, because I got I might actually friends. buy it on Steam. Yeah, uh, it's on sale right now. It is on sale, and yeah. I got the like I said, I got the email today right yeah. at work. I was like, "Oh, hey, look, Caveman Warriors it, it's, is out." It's fun. Let me tell you, it's fun. You're seeing my first my first gameplay footage of it. They did a fantastic job, and uh, honestly, I I think it's like Castle Crashers in a lot of ways. Except you know, you you put a lot of influences from Joe and Mac, and it's great. It's fantastic. I'm gonna end it up on that because uh, for my money, you all should buy it. That that's my recommendation. It, it's just fun. I did, yeah. Like I said, I did see it was out today. Yeah, uh, they actually funded a game. It's 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 quite an, I don't know something something is like satisfying with that, you know. Uh, mainly because you never know if on the Kickstarter it's legit or not. But they had gameplay footage, and I knew I had a feeling it was going to be a a decent investment. And lo and behold, I'm having fun with it. I'm glad. Yeah. All right. I, I, I'm not trying to sell. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to really, like, sell the game. I'm. I'm just saying, I did that, and uh, you know, I, being a, being one of the, uh, being one Backers. of the people. Yeah. There we go. That was what I was saying. I just kind of wanted to be like, 
I'm having fun with it, and I need to get friends get in on this. And you know what? If anyone's interested, hit up Gildam in the comment section, or uh, I don't know, Twitter, something. I I should make a tweet. You should uh, you should all add him on Instagram. <laughs> I don't follow. Have a, yeah, I don't have an Instagram. <laughs> okay, um, uh, LinkedIn. Uh, you know, at point is, I'm gonna <laughs> end it up here. Uh. Terminator, Caveman, Arnold Schwarzenegger is straight up kicking my butt. Shoot, I gotta go help you kill him, don't I? Yeah. Better get to that. Yeah.